What's up, guys? JD. Oh. Uh, so, this is probably going to seem like the dumbest subject ever. But, um. Figured I'd explain what these things do. Because nobody thinks they're important. Um. So, this is the cooling system on your buggy. I know there are probably a lot of new people in buggies and this and that and the other thing. And, uh. What used to amuse me is I would get, um, from time to time, you know, either someone would buy a used buggy and bring it to the shop, or, uh, you know, I would offer all the time, you know, to customers, if you're looking for a used buggy or whatnot, and you, you, you want to send me a link to look at it, I'll tell you if it's worth buying, if it's, you know, whether the price is right, whether it's discontinued, is that going to be a problem child, is it hard to find parts for, yada, 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 and, uh, you know, I get pictures of, in, uh, uh, buggies and whatnot and yeah yeah I'm over at this guy's house and sends me a picture and the motor you know you can see I can't even show you the motor um, you know you can see the head and the cylinder all the air fins and everything and my first question would be ask the guy how long he's been running it without the shrouds and uh, oh yeah I run it this way all the time I'm like do not buy it that thing has been run hot and how and why do I know that because these plastic pieces right here, this is your cooling system on the buggy. That's the purpose that they serve. Everything has a purpose, and that's what this does. So, if you took your shrouds and we put them together, let's see if I can kind of fit them together without a motor in between it. Kind of, sort of. So, what happens is that big square hole, that's your valve cover, and that's your head, okay? Underneath, you have some air ducts. And then this fan cover sits over here on the side. This might be easier. Hold on. Let's do this. All right. Got a motor here. Ain't she pretty? So, uh, let's turn the camera down just a little bit. Great production work here. That's a little better. Okay. So, so we don't have to sit the motor over. Underneath, this is the hole for your exhaust pipe, and then here's your air ducts. Okay. How this works is this: when this motor is running and this fan is spinning, I'm just gonna slap this on there for a second, kind of, sorta. Yeah, like that. As this motor is running, it's sucking air through here. Now you've got to remember, these poor little motors, well even in a scooter, when they're in a scooter they got shrouds all around them and everything, so they had to come up with an air system where the motor's all covered up and can still, you know, without being liquid cooled, can still grab air. And that's why they de developed these shrouds and whatnot, and this is how it works, alright? So usually on a scooter, I've worked on a couple of them, and, and, and there's a pedestal here where your seat is above the motor. You take the seat off and usually you're staring right down at the carburetor. So it's not able to grab air anywhere except from underneath. So what the shroud does is allows you know air to suck in through here, passes around the head, under around, and gets you know it's getting sucked in from this fan and then blows out the side hole here. Okay. Um, if you look at it in a buggy, you have seats in front of this thing. There's no way it's going to get cooled down. And that's why they developed this whole shroud system. Okay, If you're looking for a buggy, you're looking to buy a buggy, and the shrouds ain't on it, chances are that guy ain't had the shrouds on it for some time. All right. Now, what what could be the problems with that? Overheating. Overheating, pre, uh, bad piston wear, rings. Um, you know, because when, when things get hot, they overly expand, they get tight. It just causes more friction and more heat. Um, so yes, it is important. These shrouds and I mean, hell, shrouds really aren't that expensive. You can pretty much buy them. I mean, I sell them separately here. They're all $4.99 a pop. So for 15 bucks, it's the cheapest cooling system you'll ever find for any machine. Um, but they are vital. They're vital to how these run. I know they look cooler with them off and yeah, I think they look cool too, but 
they are definitely, definitely, definitely imperative to have on there. And if not, just not having these shrouds on can make your motor not last very long. So that's what they are. That's how they work. And uh, I mean, it's very simple uh, solution and design. Uh, it's almost foolproof. All you have to do is have them on. So, you know, uh, unlike a liquid cooled system, you know, um, where you have to worry about water pumps and hoses and this and that and the other thing, boom, done. Now, why on a motorcycle? Well, a motorcycle, you could see all the air fins on, on the cylinder and the head because the motorcycle's out in the open. You know, you're, it's got free reign to as much air as it needs to get. Well, with these things, you know, the whole design, the origination from them are, were to be in a scooter. So, uh, that's, that's why the shrouds were developed. So, pretty simple, very effective. Um, so, uh, you know, just, just to keep in mind, you know, especially you got new guys. Um, hell, I mean, I've seen people buy buggies that didn't have shrouds on them and they didn't even know there was a shroud that go, went there. They just figured that's the way the motor was supposed to look. So, um, very, uh, very, very important. So, uh, hopefully, very simple, but I hope you learned something. And uh, by all means, you know, give it a like if you like it. And uh, leave any comments or questions in the uh, comment section. And give us a like. And if you need any parts, uh, gotbuggies.com. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later. JD out.